In this short demonstration, we're going to have a look at how we can use a Tiro and a Scola together to help you with your legal uh, writing and write when you're writing up your legal assignments. We'll look first off, we'll look briefly at importing the Scola referencing style into your Zotero library. Then we're going to look at importing the Word plugin. We're going to import one or two cases and just see how you might tidy those up very quickly. Um, in such a way that if you so choose you can use them for your SCOLA referencing when you're writing up your assignments in Word to have nice neat and tidy records to save you to save you a lot of time on the go. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to import the SCOLA referencing style. I only need to do this once um, on any whatever computer I'm working on we just need to do it one time only. I'm going to go to edit and I go into my preferences and I stick with styles here. It's not automatically installed here so we'll just quickly get additional styles. Let's type it in there. There's a couple of um, styles of a scholar that you might choose from. We're going to go with this one here at the top on the ibid. Okay, so I've just done that. That's done now. There it is. The next thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to do it while we are here. We're going to go into our word processors and I'm going to install the word add-in. Don't mind if it says reinstall or just install. Just click it there and it'll do it. Installation was successful. That should be it. And I'll know that that's done. I'm going to check it now. Just so you can see how quick it is. Just open up a new blank one. And you'll see it here. There it is. So it is as fast as that. It only takes moments. So that's it, we're ready to go. What I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to install, I'm going to import a couple of case law records. Um, just I'll quickly do a new folder here. If I go here, do a new collection, I'm going to call this uh, easy to do a, a new folder. We can do a new folder and subfolder in there if we wished, but I'm just going to leave it as this. So I have a case, an example of some cases here, okay? I'm in Justice 1. Um, and I'm going to click on this here, Ryan v. Attorney General. Let's say I want this one. Okay, so I'm having a look at this here. I have a little read. Don't forget you can have a look in here. Look at your precedent map if you wish to as well. This is a useful, useful tool. But for now, I'm sure that I want this, okay? So I'm going to go up to my Zotero plugin up here. Okay, I can see I don't have it installed here. It'll take me just one moment to do it, just to show you how quick it is. Let's go here, download now. I just want the, Z, the connector there. There it is, it's added in. So now, once I go back up here, okay, I'm going to click on my little plug and pop it on my browser. See down here, it's saving to my Zotero library, which I had open. And it saved it in here. So I have that there now. I could put a note in here. You know, I could copy and paste um, a paragraph. I could do quotes, whatever I would like to. So that could be useful for me to come back and retrace my steps later. Whatever it might be. I might uh, say... Uh, if there's a quote or something there, whatever it might be, I can find that later. But if you see up here, okay, this now is actually saved. I've got to info. It's saved as a web page. So we just need to make the cases, the case law, link in a little bit better, a little bit more intelligently into Zotero. So I'm going to change that item type now. I'm going to change it to a case. Okay, so you see the fields here have changed. I'm going to copy and paste this in. Now you don't need to tidy everything as you go generally, but I just think it's a little bit handier if you do it with your case law. It's such a small thing to do, to tidy it up as you go with this bit. All I need to do is put into the reporter volume there. That's element of the citation, just that citation bit. All we want up here is a case name. Just have the cases, get just get rid of the, any extraneous information you don't need. They, those are the two things you're going to need to do with any case. Have your nice neat case name. Copy and paste your retorter volume in. There it is, it's done. That's handy for later. 
In a moment I'll show you how you can sync that into your Word document. But just before I do to make the point, you can always retrace your steps here later. In a month's time, if you're trying to remember what you did, you could just type it in here, line, it'll bring it up. And you'll be able to go back to that page if you so wish. It'll bring it back there. So if you don't use it for your citations, do use it for nothing else but to keep track of things, to remind yourself what you looked at. That in itself is a great is a really useful thing. So what I'm going to do is now is I'm just going to show you how you can tie that together when you're when you're doing your in-text citations. Okay, so I'm just going to go to say I am citing this thing here. Okay, so we have our plugin. I'm on I'm on there. I'm going to add my citation. I just need to do this once the first time. A scholar, there we go. Just say yeah. I can type it if I remembered it, or you can just browse from your classic view. There we go. And also this. Just do a couple of these here really quickly. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same one again there just so you can see. If you see down the end here just leave it there. Okay. So that will save you an awful lot of time. What I would say is this as well. The other nice bit is your bibliography at the end you can add your RG bibliography and it'll take whatever it'll just take extract that information there and put in there so if you're using books you could do that as well in the other demos um, I'll show you just generally just 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 install a book as you would do uh, the way in the other demonstrations on worldcat.org if it's an online report whatever it might be you can link to anything there just to quickly remind you here, okay, if you are doing cases, as you see, look, here's a book, here's an, here's a, an article, a report, you can link to any of those things. But just to show you that law cases examples, just to remind you, the little cheat is you go to report or volume. That's all you need to do. Case name and put that citation there in report or volume and then that'll come out in the, in the, uh, in the best way, the best formatted version possible for you. So look, I hope that was helpful. Um, as always, if you want to check in with the library, if there's anything else you'd like to know, or if you'd like a little bit of a one-to-one -one, uh, demonstration, that's fine. Also, we're always here to help you with that. So just see how you go with this in the meantime. And uh, yep, um, hopefully this will be a, a useful new tool for you to, to work with as well.